Here we are for the last episode in Ilha Grande. I hope a few weeks there again will show you another awesome place in this paradise. However, if you didn't watch the last two videos, please come back and make part in, in the best of Rio de Janeiro on here in Rodada Cook channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and share it. I am Duda Teres and let's start the best itinerary in Ilha Grande. Ilha Grande, one of the most fantastic places in Rio de Janeiro, especially if you like beaches like me. Here we have more than 187 islands in total, so you definitely need to come back if you want to see all of them. However, in case if you are in a fast trip like me, I will show you the best tour of our series in this third and final episode in the Paradise Island. Let's go with me on this. Ah, the last day of our trip is always the most distressing since we miss it even before we leave. So to make up for that, we will save the best for the last. You won't regret it. <laughs> Arriving at our first destination, we will discover Piedade Beach or the Unset Island of Caras. This island is very famous for its church called Nossa Senhora da Piedade, which was built in the 20th century. Every year, Catholic holds a party to celebrate their religious, where boats arrive and enjoy this beautiful place with the small strip of sand that divides the beach in two. It is also known by Caris Island because the former owner of this famous magazine Caris in Brazil had a residence in this paradise. Amazon, right? Getting to the dentist beach, we can see that it has a large extension, very white sand and a very famous tree that everyone wants to take a picture of. <laughs> In addition, it has several types of fish. In particular, I was able to resist a type that I've never seen before. Does anyone know what is it? This is the most beautiful and paradisiacal beach of the entire tour of this itinerary. Here it's possible to swim, walk, rest and even get a tan with this incredible view. Take a look. The Botino Islands are normally frequented for diving or swimming. Here we don't have a strip of sand. So, if you don't know how to swim, bring your float and be happy! After having spent all the day at the beach, it's time to have lunch in a beautiful and peaceful place called Ilha do Japeris. 
As in the last two episodes of our journey in Ilha Grande, we ordered a lunch in advance to do the tour. Watch both episodes if you missed it. Buda Teles, what are you most happy about with Ilha Grande? I'm most happy about the beaches, the island, uh, the food is so good, the hotel we were, and then the sunsets and sunrise is awesome. <laughs>